Hi, I'm Mark, and I collect things. Sometimes I haven't played things, and today we're going to be opening a box of 2023 Top Star Wars Finest. A sealed hobby master box of Star Wars Finest actually includes two mini boxes. Two hits are guaranteed per master box, and one of the hits is guaranteed to be an autograph or a sketch. Each mini box contains six packs per box, five cards per pack. And here you can see there is one hit per mini box. Go ahead and take a look at the inside of the master box. The cardboard flap here at the top opens up. Then we've got our two mini boxes. One hit per mini box. No pack odds on the box. I'll be sure to link the pack odds if I find them. All right, let's get into box number one out of two. So inside the mini box, we should see our packs. Six packs right there in the middle of the box. Same art from the box is on the packs. All right, pack number one out of six from box number one. Got a Jabba the Hutt card. Barry Lars. Here's a Tales of the Jedi insert card. Some Age Senate Guard. Behind that, Chewbacca. And then Cheer It M Way from Rogue One. We'll go ahead and take a look at the back of the base cards. Got quite a bit of information about the character. I love to see that. The cards are unfortunately very warped. It's got quite a curve to it. Pretty common though with these chrome style cards. Alright, pack number two. Luke Skywalker as a child base card. A Finn base card. Another insert, it looks like Finest Warriors, Obi-Wan Kenobi. On the back of this one, FW-11 is the number of this insert. Then Infus Nest base card. And Kino Loy from Andor. What a great character he was. Pack number three out of the first box. Finnick Shand base card. Velsartha base card. Looks like we've got a base refractor of Bo-Katan Kreese. Take a look at the back and see if that's notated. And it does say refractor there at the top of the card. You can tell by looking at it because it has the rainbow foil effect on it, not just the silver chrome. Behind that, Arvel Skeen. And a Yoda card from Revenge of the Sith. Pack number four from box one. Looks like we might have one of our box hits in this pack. Got a cool Sabine Wren card at the top of the pack. Oh, and behind that, a Harrison Dola insert. It's like a moments insert set. We'll take a look back of it real quick. This is FM-1. And behind this insert card, hey, here's an autograph purple numbered out of 75. Molly Miller as Agira. It's got a cool intricate effect here on the card. I'm not sure exactly which style of refractor this is. I'll take a look at the back and see if it says anything. It does not say exactly which type of refractor it is. I'll have to check after the video. This is numbered out of 75. And behind that for the base card, Director Krennic. And Dryden Voss. All right, pack number five. Count Dooku base card. Luminara Unduly base card. Got another Warriors insert of Chrysanthemum. Super cool. And then a refractor of Luminara Unduly. Pretty neat. Oh, actually, this is numbered. A numbered refractor. I think it's an Aqua refractor. It's out of 199. We'll see if there's anything on the back. And I don't see it saying exactly what type of refractor it is. And behind that, a base Admiral Radis. All right, pack six out of the first box. A Ray base card. 
The Grand Inquisitor base card. Very cool looking card. Oh, wow. Enemies of the Empire. Five out of 25. Ahsoka Tano. I think this is a pretty big pull, and I am stoked to get a big Ahsoka card. This is super cool. I know the Enemies of the Empire insert set is super short printed. Out of 25 is super cool. Take a look at the back of it. Oh, it's actually an acetate card. You can see through it. Super cool. I need to get a sleeve for this immediately. These acetate cards are very easy to damage. Surface scratches can show up very easily. Take a look at the back of it. EOTE-8. Then after that, for the rest of the pack, looks like we've got a Refractor, Taladurth. Then a Bale Organa base card. Alright, so this first mini box seems super loaded. So we've got the Enemies of the Empire, Ahsoka Tano, out of 25. An Aqua Refractor of Luminara Unduli. Then an out of 75 purple autograph, Molly Miller as Agira. Alright, let's get into mini box number two. It's going to be tough to beat that first mini box. But we'll see what we can pull. There should be at least one guaranteed hit in this box. All right, pack number one from the second mini box. Kira base card. Paz Vizsla base card. That's a great image for this one. It's pretty cool. Then a Tales of the Jedi Ahsoka Tano. Cool insert. Oh, and we got a second autograph. This box is loaded. Maybe this is my guaranteed one, and the numbered one was extra. Being true, I'm not exactly sure on the pronunciation, my apologies, as Menace Velti. And this is just the base autograph. Got a nice clean design to it, the sticker autograph. Take a look at the back, FA-MQ. For the rest of the pack, Harrison Dola, base card. All right, pack number two out of the second mini box. I think I've done very well in this master box. Luthan Rail, base card. What a great character he is. Saul Guerrero, another great character. Cool Warriors insert of Bo-Katan Kreez. Then a Mace Windu base card. And Baze Malvis base card. Pack number three out of the second box. Wedge Antilles base card. Bodhi Rook base card. A Refractor of Cassian Andor. Grand Moff Tarkin base card. Then behind that, Omera base card. Pack number four from the second box. The fourth sister base card from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Nia Num base card. A Kira moments insert. After that, a Grief Karga base card. Then a BB-8 base card. Pack number five from the second box. Edrio Two Tubes base card. A Warrior's insert of Princess Leia Organa. Pretty cool. I like that one. And then another low numbered card out of 50. Princess Leia Organa as a child. 04 out of 50. What a great looking card. I think this is a gold refractor. Got a nice clean design. It looks great with the gold on the border. Then a Princess Leia base card. And Marva Andor base card. All right, final pack. We've pulled four numbered cards and a non-numbered autograph base auto. I don't know if we can do much better than that, but we'll see. General Hux base card. Chewbacca base card. Tobias Beckett refractor. Cassian Andor base card. And Maz Kanata base card. All right, to recap the pulls from the video, I did get five base refractors. One of them I missed while I was opening the packs. We got eight base insert cards, four of the Warriors cards, two moments, and two Tales of the Jedi, including Ahsoka. And then for the chase pulls out of the box, I think we did really well, probably above average, but I'll have to check out other box opening videos to know for sure. Box two had a base autograph and a gold refractor out of 50. But mini box one was really loaded. That one had an aqua refractor of Luminara and Dolly. Numbered out of 75 auto. And then probably the big pull out of the box, Enemies of the Empire. Numbered out of 25 of Ahsoka Tano. 
Definitely happy with these pulls. I think I did pretty good, probably above average. The set seems pretty fun. I just wish the base cards were not so warped. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the Star Wars set and what your thoughts in general are on Topps Finest versus Topps Chrome. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more trading card related content, I encourage you to consider liking and subscribing. That would help out my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.